Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going over my game setup again. Um, this is requested by Exotic Games. Just because I got a new setup, as you guys can tell right here. And pretty much a new computer. Just upgraded parts to my old one, but it looks like a new computer, obviously. Um, so we're going to go from left to right. First off, we have my Call of Duty and Battlefield 4. And then we have my AK-47 Airsoft gun. Um, gotta have that. I don't know why I have that there anyway. Um, but here we have my blue snowball microphone. Um, it is on my scissor arm once again. Just thought it would be better to have it on this desk since it's more like scissor arm compatible than the other one was. Um, we have my pop filter over as well since it is pretty close to my uh, mouth. Thought it would just be good to get that pop out. Um, so here we have my 19 inch Dynex TV. Uh, it was like about 80 bucks I think on Best Buy and I thought why not buy it since it is 80 bucks and that's pretty cheap for a uh, monitor like that or like a monitor in general. And here we have my Lenovo monitor. Don't know the actual like brand for that. I just know it's a Lenovo. And then we have my Samsung SyncMaster 2032NW. Um, and I thought this is really weird and cool. It's like small, medium, large. I don't know why I think that's so amusing, but it is. Here we have my Razer Deathstalker keyboard. Haven't changed yet. Probably going to pick up a Black Widow eventually, but haven't done that yet. Here we have the Razer Abyssus or Abyssus. I'm on a black, just a regular black um, keypad. And then here's some junk that you guys don't really care about. It's my BBs. Um, here's my light. Sometimes I'll use that for face cam, sometimes I won't. Most of the time I'll just have this light on, um, but yeah, it really depends. And here we have the beast. Um, pretty beast computer. I can actually feel the air from here. What the heck? I don't even know. I'm like standing like. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, but this is the Corsair Carbide Spec 01 case. Um, get into the specs in a sec um, but yeah that has the big side panel on it which is really cool I want to get some interior lighting as well so I could like hook up around this um, like around the like around here on the edges just like put it on the inside and think that I think that'll look really cool if you like just turned on lights and stuff and this is for my graphics card it's a little metal sticker it says powered by EVGA and I thought that was like the perfect spot to put it. It's really cool right there. Um, there's my printer guys. Don't really have that in the setup anymore. Um, here we just have a red fan. It does look pink or purple or whatever you guys think it looks. But I guarantee it's red. Um, then we have a two blue fans actually. Um, I don't know why that looks purple, but it's blue. And inside, we have my GTX 750 Ti for the Win Edition right there. Um, let's see if you can sneak a peek. That is my brand new processor. And I want to do a little bit more upgrading to this. I do want to get water cooling for my processor. Put that where that fan goes. And I can move that fan up there. And get a blue fan to replace the red fan since the red fan is not like that powerful. Um, just like a just came with the case. Um, and as you guys can see, this whole thing right here, this whole like grill, um, all this can be removed and you can actually put a second fan, but you do have to remove the um, hard drive stand or whatever it's called to do so. Oh, here we have my Logitech C310. Like I said, this will all be in the description for the link so you can guys go pick up some of this or you can just. Okay, do whatever. And I will also give a link for my whole computer specs instead of just putting it down in the description. I'll just put a link down there. Um, take you over to the website and guys can just go check it out. It's pretty, pretty beast computer and it's actually pretty cheap too. Um, considering that I had the optical drive, um, hard drive, and four, gig four gigs of RAM from my old computer. That's a win win for me. Um, and it saved me about a hundred bucks, so the whole computer is probably all the upgrades I've done, like 450 for around there for 70, 450. Uh, some somewhere along that lines. Um, 
but that's just for the computer. Everything else has been been getting me up there. Um, but yeah, here we have my Turtle Beach Xbox headset, and they're compatible with the PC, so I just use them with the PC. They're the X12s. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the whole gaming setup video. Um, I think it's a really cool setup. It okay. I don't know if you guys watch him. It's Alie, um, but this setup kind of reminds me of him. He just has like the desk, and then there's the triple monitor set up with the mouse and keyboard. But yes, it's my right there, and I don't. And he doesn't have his computer up there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think that's cool, and I like this setup a lot. It's a lot better than the other one because um, you can have the triple monitor set up instead of like sitting right here, um, looking at two monitors, and then turning like this whole way just to look at the other one for Xbox. This is a lot more efficient and time saving as well. Um, so like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to go down and smack that like button. Let's see if we can get five likes or six likes, however many I want. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe. Peace out.